good afternoon. Today is June 24th and I wanted to share these nasturtium. These are from Beaker Creek. This variety is called Purple Emperor. I had been looking for purple nasturtium and was really excited when I saw these even though they don't really look purple in the photos they have some purple in them um, in the photos they do look I, if I recall more of like a just a mix of colors but um, and I read the reviews and a lot of the reviews said that they didn't really look purple in real life either which I'm also noting as they sort of wind down their lifespan here they definitely look more purple-ish like this one these are half were cut two days ago and half were cut yesterday so I mean that's like pretty straight up red like a cherry red um, lots of mauve happening there's some purple you know there's like some lavender lilac well not more like lavender i guess um but again more leans more towards like a mauve than anything uh but when i mean they're beautiful let's just start there but um one of the things that made me go ahead and buy three more packs of these seeds um was a surprise in that they are scented and I've grown nasturtium a few years now and I know they're edible um, they're usually pretty spicy like a watercress or arugula um, peppery and I've never that I remember recall smelling any that were scented in the way that these are and to name it um, it was quite unexpected uh, it's a very familiar smell many of you I'm sure have smelled it but I just didn't see it coming and it took me about a day to pinpoint it because I knew it was so familiar and yet I just you know it's just one of those things out of context so the surprisingly gorgeous smell that come along with these purple emperor nasturtium is rose it smells like the wild roses that grow in uh, pa here in new jersey and pennsylvania the native wild roses in the spring really really mm, really beautiful um shocking so this summer this early early summer this is what the first or second day of the actual summer season has been really lovely so far uh, with lots of rain which is very welcome after a drought running through may and um these beautifully scented rose nasturtium what a surprise so i have these and then the sweet peas the lighting isn't great but i'll just show you how the sweet peas are doing uh, i'm just i'm just about done with the garden i have a couple more things to um do mainly just adding the uh, topsoil but to give you an idea there's some purple the kupani original sweet peas which are stunning if i can reach over here so I'd say that's a pretty straight purple and like a burgundy on the sweet pea, right? And then you'll see the comparison here to the purple emperor. So we'll see. So these were just like the first dozen or so blooms. And um, as I said, I did purchase another three packs because I've just fallen in love with fragrant flowers and want more and more and more of them. And nasturtium, if you haven't grown, are usually really, really easy to grow. Um, uh, word to the wise, 
do not put them in rich amended soil use your lousy soil it could be i think um okay to have sort of sandy and dry soil they'll do all right too but um if you have them in very rich soil you'll get tons and tons of leaves which are these roundish lily pad shaped leaves are really beautiful but they won't put out flowers as much you'll get a few but not as many and um yeah so i'm going to definitely put up some hanging baskets i've over the years strayed away from hanging baskets despite you know it being another great place to indulge in my obsession um just because the extra work that they require keeping them water watered uh, especially in a drought and especially if they're not near a water source to begin with but with these nasturtium um yeah i think they can get a little dry and it's not a big deal also worth noting this golden back I don't know what that what what that's called, but it's like the prettiest sort of apricot butter color. I don't know if that's a thing. I think it should be a thing, apricot butter. Um, maybe a vegan apricot butter for our vegan friends. But it's not like just beautiful, creamy, creamy yellow. A uh, tiny bit of peach in there. Tiny bit of orange so yeah so these are the purple emperor again more mauve than anything but as they wind down you get that the darker shades and I'll see over the next few weeks I have some of these planted in morning sun and just a little of the late afternoon sun and then the others planted in a good amount of morning and afternoon sun and then late afternoon shade and um, I'm not quite sure where else I'll put the others um, I think I might actually do a front border in the front yard with them because I'm still behind on that I was so excited thinking oh, I'm, I'm finally done I'll get to enjoy the garden and then I remembered I haven't started on the front yet but for now these would be great out front because the goal with that little walkway border garden was to become basically a perennial garden um, which it's not specifically but it's mostly um, cone flowers so they are so hardy and durable and require like no effort to maintain and very little water so I thought these might be a good match for those because um, these are low growing but I also read that they'll trail about I think 20 inches or so 16 to 20 inches so that'll be great in a hanging basket and again low maintenance to show you a couple different light sources here it's hard it's like right in the middle of the day um, the sun is beaming it's not really how I like to show show off the colors of the flowers here but I'll try again later for now they smell like roses and yeah they're also gorgeous I'm doing more of a um, more romantic touches this year in the garden that's the theme so these colors are really just soft and warm and a little lush and beautiful these in a um, against a white wall too are so beautiful I'll try and take another photo I'll put it on my Instagram Jbell digs the shape um, just really really beautiful um, nice and airy flower I had this about half full as I said I cut half of these yesterday and half two days before that and even when it was just a few of them um, 
against the white wall, the shapes they, they create are just really pretty. So, and they're holding up all right. Not the, gra not the best, but I'll, I'll admit too with the sweet peas, um, as stunning as this fragrance is, I've called it plum before. They, uh, like a plum liqueur, really sweet plum liqueur. Um, this variety at least is not holding up um, in terms of scent in the vase. They, they look pretty good for a few days, but the scent fades relatively quickly, which is a little bit of a bummer. It definitely has more of, um, oh, I forget the word. It's in French, sillage. Um, so you can get a quite a nice whiff of them from a distance. Whereas the nasturtium, you, you definitely have to be closer up. Um, so great for a bed stand or a nightstand, but um, like 10 out of 10 on both, 100%. Okay, let me see if I can capture this beautiful little moment real quick before I lose my battery. My battery's dying, but uh, not really. Yeah, it was looking really pretty over here for a second, but it's tough. Tough with this camera. Anyway, um, more soon. Happy gardening. Okay, so this is just a few moments after I took that first bit of footage, but I think I found some really pretty light for you guys. What? So those are those are running its court their course really quickly here, but. The other nice thing about these nasturtium is they'll likely be pretty prolific and um, yeah, having a fresh bouquet of these little babies every day is going to be real nice. If you hear that jingling, that's my little doggy getting up to God knows what. I'm afraid to even look. All right, so that's that's a word on Purple Emperor, Mr. Shum. Okay, so yet another update. I just picked these after I made that video about the ones from yesterday and the day before. And these are definitely giving a lot more purple. So this one you can see has like a both cherry and sort of mauvey purple situation happening, but the others it's really purple. I mean, it's still mauvey purple, don't get me wrong, but and I think the yellow helps like bring out the purple, but definitely more purple, so that's exciting. Let me show it to you in some other light as well. back here, try to get the same situation to compare. It's really hard to get these all facing the same way. There's something pretty. But like I was saying, I mean, now they're all twisted up, but if you can just picture just a handful of these, like so, in a bouquet, or in a little bud vase, the cool shapes aren't they gorgeous so okay so with the backlit sun situation they're definitely more of the cherry red family and more pinkish that shape so nice I forget I just learned what that little spiky thing was called now I forget They are so lush. Let's see if I can get that one to behave. This is hard to do with one hand, but anyway, purple emperor. Um, I'll, let me get like full shade. Or I'll go next to our sweet peas again. So we can compare the purples. There we go.
So there's like the jewel toned um, magenta purple from the sweet pea. And then this is definitely more a muted, earthy, mauvey purple, cherry red. But definitely must haves for the scented garden. Heaven. Really, really beautiful. And so hard to manufacture in a way that's truthful.